Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to manage an open palu, but with a conch broom sari. With the added width of the conch broom sari, it's a little more difficult to manage, but there's a couple of tips and tricks I can give you so that you are comfortable with an open palu, but also looking beautiful and elegant. I've ironed my sari and before I start draping, I just want to talk about your undergarments. So if you've seen my other videos, you know how much I love wearing the sari silhouette under your kanji brooms, your satin silks, literally any drape or sari, you want to feel comfortable and have the drape turn out beautiful. Our sari silhouettes come with a elastic and a drawstring waist, so you can rest assured that even your heaviest um, silk saris are going to hold and be comfortable and not feel like they're gonna come undone uh, when you wear them. So first things first, let's start the drape and I'm just going to tuck it in, especially when you're wearing conch broom saris, make sure you're tucking it in flat and nice. So there's no extra bulges around um, your body. And then just continue that. Okay, when you come back to the front, you can just leave the sari and get to the Palu end. And if you remember nothing else from this video, remember this tip and this trick. Normally when I measure out my Palu, I like my Palu to hit my ankle. So for it to be about this long. If you were to wear it this long when you're hanging your Palu, look, watch what happens when I just let go of my hand. It trails and you definitely don't want that happening at an event. Um, and you don't want your beautiful precious sari dragging on the floor. So what I recommend is measuring your palu to the back of your knee, and you can adjust this based on you know, your body proportions, but I feel like the back of the knee work, works for most bodies. And so you basically take it to the back of your knee, and I feel like that's the back of my knee. And so watch what happens when I let go of my hand. It trails less. Okay, that's still trailing, so I'm just gonna pull it up a little bit. And so you still get that beautiful, like grand look, that royal look of hanging your palu, but you're not worried about it really trailing on the ground if you were to rest your hand. Okay, so I recommend that, especially if you like wearing it open. Now, there are ways to kind of uh, pleat it, and I'm gonna show you that, but if you decide to just wear it open, definitely keep it shorter than longer, just so that it's easier for you to manage. All right, so I'm just gonna, I've decided that's the length I want, and I'm just gonna put that on my shoulder like that and then take the edge that's closest to me and pleat like normal. For the front pleats, my tip is to hold the sari around your body and then put your hand to the left of your belly button and start pleating so that the top pleat does not open up. You can check out my video on pleating to learn how I pleat the super easy and quick method. Once you're happy with the pleats, you can pin them together and then tuck it into your sari silhouette. Take uh, the side pleats here and the fabric and take it into your right hip here. Any extra fabric here, you can just fold this forward and tuck it in. You don't have to worry about it not being neat because it's going to get covered. All right, so this is basically the end of the drape. Um, you would add a pin here. And this is how I like to hold it. Um, so for pictures, I'll just quickly take these pleats nicely and kind of just pose like that and then, and hold it like that for most of the event. And if I need both of my hands, I'll just gather all of these pleats and kind of just put it over my left shoulder. And you'll see that's what most older women or moms, my mom, this is exactly how she wears her saris. She doesn't like pleating it and she doesn't really like pinning it to her um, hip or her blouse or anything like that. She just likes it to look effortless. Um, but I know a lot of you are like, well, that's really hard for me to manage. This is what I would recommend. Hold the sari out like this, grab the other end, and then like you can see here, the pleats are automatically forming. So what you want to do is kind of just accentuate them and gather them like that. And they'll kind of already form at, as you're holding it, but you just want to kind of guide them. And so Manipulate the sari until you're happy with how it looks. And then once you're happy with how it looks and the pleats, just gather them all and add a pin. And I'm gonna pin it right to my blouse here. And that way you can basically have the pleats there. Even if you let your hand go, 
the pleats aren't going anywhere. The only bad thing about this way and the way, the reason I don't do this is because let's say you want to have both your hands kind of free to do whatever. You can't really look, put it up like when you, I feel like when you put it up like this, it just looks weird because there's like a pin here, which is why I choose not to do that. And my mom just wears it like <laughs> completely open. But this is definitely easier to transition between holding your sari and then posing for a picture. I hope you found that useful. If you have any tips and tricks to share with the rest of us, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and I will see you in a future video.